今日は先日都を訪れた世界的な環境活動家マティアス・ゲルバーさんを紹介します日常生活の中でもできる環境に優しい取り組みとはエコアイランドを宣言している宮古島にこれから求められることとはゲルバーさんに聞きました今月12日宮原地区で行われた植樹活動に世界的な環境活動家が参加しましたドイツ人で現在マレーシアに住みながら世界各国で植樹や公園などに取り組んでいるマティアス・ゲルバーさんです都の人たちと一緒に食事を行ったゲルバーさん翌日は環境に関する講演会で国境を越えて協力し将来の環境を守るための力を生み出そうと呼びかけました昨年カナダの IT 企業が行ったコンテストでは地球で最も環境に優しい人にも選ばれたゲルバーさんですが普段の生活で心がけていることはどんなことなのでしょうか Because a lot of things we never need and they end up as waste. But even they have to be manufactured in the first place. So every time when something is being manufactured or recycled, a lot of electricity is consumed, a lot of material is consumed, and electricity doesn't just come out of the wall, it comes from somewhere, so it has to be produced. So electricity generation means CO2 emissions and other emissions. So we need to try and keep our Emissions low. For example, at home, I don't even take a hot shower. I just take normal room temperature shower. That saves electricity. I very seldom use the air conditioning, even though it's quite hot in Malaysia where I live. I try and use the fan. So my、uh, monthly electricity consumption is very, very low. It's like 10 US dollars a month. That's my electricity bill. So that is a good way of measuring. Then, in my condo where I live, the building,、uh, together with my friend, we introduce a recycling system for the condo where we help in our house the cleaners to collect the waste more so it can be used for recycling. And we introduce that in the whole building, 22 stories. Then I don't have a car. I walk or use public transport, or if it's not possible, I take the taxi. So, those are some of the basic things that I do、uh, as a daily lifestyle choice. またゲルバーさんはエコアイランドを目指す宮古島に次のようなアドバイスもしてくれました。I think、uh, the idea of an equal island is a very great concept. Uh, but the question is, what exactly do we do to become an eco island? What are the criteria? What are the technologies? How does it, what does it mean for the behavior of the people living on the island? I think、uh, we need to look at infrastructure, technology. For example,、uh, I personally would recommend、uh, having such a fairly small island. It would be great if you could show the world that you could live with renewable energy only, like wind, solar. Tidal instead of using non renewable energy. That would be a great start. And that could make an impact in the whole world. So people want to learn from you how you made it happen. Then I think construction at the same time. One of the biggest areas of environmental impact is construction and building. About 40% of the uh, uh, CO2 emissions are linked to construction, the energy we use in our houses. So it would be good if you could try and build only. Eco friendly homes, where the materials you use, the insulation, the energy efficiency, solar cells could be applied here on the island in a very environmentally friendly manner. And then the whole attitude of people I can already see people are very keen on environmental issues, they plant trees. But how can we really create a very strong environmental community? It starts with the schools, it starts with、uh, agriculture, 
where we need awareness, how can we become as green as possible? I think you have a unique opportunity to make an impact internationally because you are a fairly small island. And if you go radical green, not just a little bit green, then maybe you will have a lot of interest from uh, abroad, from people that would like to learn from you. Interesting would be the question, how much CO2 emissions is Miyako Island responsible for? How can these be reduced? And how can the additional ones be compensated through carbon capturing like trees, natural or even some technology solutions? 食事や公園など、宮古で3日間過ごしたゲルバーさん。宮古を離れる日には、今年、宮古で発足したオリーブ友の会が、夏に食事を行ったオリーブ畑にも足を運びました。How deep? Okay, これぐらいで。Okay, already. Here we go. Beautiful tree. こちらでもオリーブの苗を植えたゲルバーさん。将来、宮古島が緑に包まれたエコアイランドとなることを期待しながら、また訪ねてみたいと笑顔を見せていました。オリーブの苗を植える際に、ミヤコビューティフォーとスピーチしながら。はい、食事活動を行ってましたね、えー、もう世界的にも有名なこの環境活動家、うん、ゲルバーさんですけれども、はい、二酸化炭素を排出しない、二酸化炭素を削減するということよりも、うん、緑を増やして二酸化炭素を吸ってくれる、はい、そういったこう視点をね、私も話してくれましたけれども、うんはいえー、都も島中を緑にする、うん、この島の規模を生かして、そうすれば、えー、世界中から人々がやってくるというふうに話してましたね。はいえー、また訪ねてみたいというふうに話していたということで。またゲルバーさんが訪ねてくる頃にはさらに緑を増やしておきたいですね、はい、以上ニュースインサイドでした